Hello students, let's complete the chapter polynomials by going through the summary of topics that have been covered. The first point, a polynomial px in one variable x is an algebraic expression in x of the form px is equal to a n x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 up to a 2 x raised uh, x square plus a 1 x raised to 1 plus a 0 into x raised to 0. x raised to 0 is 1 that's why a 0. So I can give you an example over here I'll just write it very roughly for you to refer. So if I have px first of all it will only have one variable okay so this is going to be similar to let's say a 10 x raised to 10 okay plus a 9 x raised to 9 plus a 2 x raised to 2 plus a 1 x raised to 1 plus a 0 and to x raised to 0. So, your a 1 up to a n are the constants and a n is not equal to 0. a 1, a 2 up to a n are the coefficients. The coefficients for example, if I have a term 3 x square, right? So, x square is my polynomial term and 3 becomes the coefficient, okay? a of x 0, x 1, x raised to n, n is the degree of the polynomial. The highest value of n is going to be the degree of the polynomial. So, here my degree of polynomial is 10, right? Let me erase this for you so that the summary looks clear, okay? Each of a n x raised to n, a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 up to a 0 with a n not equal to 0 is called a term of the polynomial. So, if I have an expression, let us say 3 x square plus y um, plus x plus 1, okay? I have 3 terms over here. How come 3 terms? 3 x square is 1 term, x is 1 term and 1 is 1, the other term. So, there are 3 terms, 1, 2 and 3, right? Okay. Now, mon monomial. What is a monomial? Polynomial of one term is called a monomial, right? So, if I have a term, let's say 3x, this is only one term. So, it is a monomial. Even if I have 3 or let's say 5, there is just one term. So, why would you say that this is a polynomial? Because 3 can be written as 3x raised to 0, 5x raised to 0 or even minus 7x, okay? Or 7y or minus 7y, okay? So, this is just one term, right? Therefore, it is a monomial. Similarly, if you have two terms in your expression, in a po polynomial expression, it is called a binomial. Similarly, three terms is a trinomial. So, let me give you an example of trinomial. I have say px is equal to 3x squared plus x plus 1, right? This is a trinomial, okay? in the variable x. If I have something like pxy, I can write 3x square plus uh, minus y square minus y. Okay, again I have three terms, so therefore it is a trinomial with three terms and this is a polynomial in two variables x and y. Okay. Linear polynomial, polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial polynomial of degree 2 is a quadratic polynomial and polynomial of degree 3 is a cubic polynomial. So, let me give you an example of linear polynomial. A linear polynomial can be something like x plus 1. Here the degree of x is 0, uh, x is 1, right? Therefore, it is a linear polynomial. How about quadratic polynomial? If I have something like x square plus 3x plus 1, here the degree is 2, but it is not necessary that it has to have 3 terms. It can also be x square plus 1. Here the highest degree is 2, therefore it is a quadratic polynomial, right? Similarly, a cubic polynomial, the highest degree will be 3. So, y cube plus 3y is another example of a cubic polynomial because the highest degree is 3, correct? 
Let's move on to the second side of the summary. A real number A is a zero of a polynomial Px if Pa is equal to zero. In this case, A is also called the root of the equation Px is equal to zero. Okay, so let's say I have a polynomial Px is equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, so if Pa gives me zero, so I need a real number. If I substitute a real number, uh, rather I'll say 3x minus 3. Let 3x minus 3 be my polynomial. And if I take my uh, a as 1. So let's see p of 1. p of 1 will be 3 into 1 minus 3, which is 3 into 1 minus 3, which gives me 0, right? 3 minus 3 is 0. So therefore, I will say that in this case, 1 is the root of, uh, 1 is also the root of the equation p, this px is equal to 0, right? Okay. Every linear polynomial in one variable has a unique 0, a non-zero constant polynomial has no 0, and every real number is a 0 of the 0 polynomial. Let me explain this to you. Every linear polynomial in one variable has a unique 0. So a linear polynomial can be something like x minus 1. Okay, this will have only one 0 because only any value, let's say, what will give me, if this is px, right? So how many values would give me 0 over here? Only 1. If I place 1 instead of x, I will get a 0, right? So there will only be one unique value for a linear polynomial, that is for the 0, okay? But what about a non-zero constant polynomial? So if I have my px, let's say as minus 3, how to find its 0? We do not have anything to substitute in place of x. So this statement is valid. A non-zero constant polynomial has no non has no zero and every real number is a zero of the zero polynomial. Correct? Then remainder theorem. If Px is any polynomial of degree x greater uh, of degree greater than equal to 1 and Px is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a then and the remainder is Pa. Okay? So if I have Px and I'm dividing it by x minus a, okay, then the remainder will be p of a, right? The factor theorem, we have two parts to this, first and second. So if x minus a is a factor of px, uh, x minus a is a factor of px if p a is equal to 0 and vice versa, which is if x minus a is a factor of px, then p a is equal to 0. Okay. And finally, we have uh, been introduced to four new algebraic identities along with the four other ones that we learned in our eighth grade. So let's take a look at them. We have x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. Okay. Then we have cube of two terms, one is for the addition and one is for the subtraction. x plus y the whole cube can be written as x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y, which can be further expanded into x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square. Okay. Similarly, for x minus y the whole cube, we have x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y, which can be further expanded into x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square. And finally, x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is nothing but product of two factors, which is x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. So with this, we wind, with this summary, we wind up the chapter polynomials. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win e goodies. 
So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.